Hello everybody, um, I just am going to record a short um, update video. I think this is the first time I've ever done this by myself, usually it's Sean and I, but he is out with his daughters spending some much needed quality time after a really busy week. Um, so they're having fun and I just wanted to update you on some of the things that have been going on this past month. It's been a really awesome month, um, both personally and in ministry. So I just want to share real quick. Um, first of all, we had a staff retreat the past three days, which I think was a time of really stretching and growing for everyone, myself included. We had some awesome guest speakers come and share, um, Pastor Karenna, Pastor Dakota, Pastor Enoch. And I think as a team, um, it stirred up some things maybe that, um, you know, shouldn't be there as a team. But I think what God is doing is he's really, um, preparing us for, for what's next for, um, this next season of ministry by making sure that our foundation is right. Um, and speaking of that ministry, that church in Tatan um, has really been thriving. Um, this past week, we hit 100 um, adult um, attendees in the church, and um, which is a new milestone for us. Um, we also had two baptisms in the past month. And our staff has been going out every week and visiting people in their homes. Um, how we call them house visitations. It's basically you go to someone's house, you just drink some tea with them, chat with them, but then pray over them and talk about um, God in the context of their real life and their issues. And we've seen that to be a really fruitful part of our ministry and seeing a lot of people come to church after being visited such a, um, in a house visitation. So that church is, um, is growing and we're excited about that. And the Chiang Mai Church is growing as well. Um, as you know, Thailand has um, upped its restriction to the number of people who can gather to be 50 people in a room. So we're getting close to that And in each week in Chiang Mai. Um, we've had a few new people come each week, which is cool to see people inviting people. Um, and one of our church members um, is deciding to start uh, a worship and prayer night outside of Friday nights. Um, each week. And that's really cool for us to see that someone um, within the church um, would step out using her gifts and her passion to lead something that we support. And um, it's so exciting to see that happen. We're seeing people say, this is my church, calling it my church. Um, some of the comments we've seen is that this church isn't like other churches. Um, and not that we're, you know, intentionally trying to be different, but we do want to be a place of welcoming, a place where someone who's maybe unchurched or hasn't been to church in a while, um, or maybe is young and feels, you know, not as traditional would feel welcome. And, um, we've heard comments along those lines, um, which means we're, we're, we're doing what we set out to do. And, um, but most importantly, we're just excited to see how God is growing that community. Um, he's gathering people outside of just that service night, but also going out to eat and having quality time. Um, this past month was both Sean and I's birthday. And I think that was um, for both of us, just a blessing to see what community he has gathered around us. And we've um, been able to have celebrations with people, a lot of new friends. Um, and so that's really cool to see. And I think our family, you know, we've gone through a huge transition um, in these past three months, but I think that God has really graced us. He's taught us a lot. I think we've been stretched and grown, um, but he has graced us to be able to manage both places. I think we still have a lot of growing to do, um, but we we are looking forward to that and look forward to what's ahead. It's been really cool um, to see God moving. So some of the ways that you guys can pray for us um, and partner with us over the um, next season, um, really before year end, we are looking to raise the rest of the support that we need to get um, the Chiang Mai Church to where fully, um, where uh, we can pay our rent for the year. So there's no pressure from, you know, um, tithes at this point. Um, as you know, we don't take a salary um, from the church or take any of that support, but that goes directly to um, building up the church and the, um, the structures, the equipment. Um, we're looking to buy a piano. We're looking to set up a cafe um, to foster that community. Um, so those funds um, that we uh, lack are $18,000 that we want to um, raise for the rest of that. Um, and then also Faith Village is um, wanting, we're wanting to get that to um, 100% of where we need. So um, for Faith Village funding, I'll put more information um, in the blog, but um, if you're interested in partnering with either of those things, um, 
I'll, yeah, I'll put that information there. Um, and we just ask you to just pray, pray, pray with us because we see that God is building something. He's doing something great. And um, it's only done through him, by him. So um, we just thank you for partnering with us and our family. Um, good things happening in Thailand. So God bless you.